to the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Rossetti Wordsworth. Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. It's time to go home, everyone. Come on. Home time. That's good. Story maker. <laughs> It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Rosetti Wordsworth, magical story maker, here to make stories with you. Hello. <gasps> <gasps> Mm. Look at all these lovely clothes. Mm. <laughs> the children were dressing up today. Yes, I know. I mm. saw them. Yeah. Oh, mm. I could be a princess. And I mm. could be a pirate. <laughs> no, no, I want to be the pirate. Yeah, I'm going to be the pirate. No, no, I'll be the pirate. No, we can both be pirates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what else is there? <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a stormy night. Might need this. Might need these too. And now, where are those two scamps? We've got lots of stories to make before daybreak. <laughs> Hello, Hello Rosetti. Oh, heave ho, me hearties. <laughs> oh, forgive me, I was looking for two story makers called <laughs> Jelly and Jackson. Yeah, that's us. <laughs> no, surely not. Jelly and Jackson look quite different. <laughs> it is us, it is. <laughs> we are Jelly and Jackson. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Oh, so you are. <laughs> oh, hello, I didn't recognise you. You look quite um, piratey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are pirates. We found these clothes in the dressing up box. Yeah. Oh, oh, box, box. Mm. That rhymes with. Um, mm. Oh, socks. Mm. Uh, yeah. Very good, Belly Jean. <laughs> <laughs> Rosetti, mm? have you been in the dressing up box? Yeah. No. Why? Yes. Because. You're wearing a funny hat. <laughs> mm. it, oh, that. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's to keep the rain off. Oh, mm. Uh, mm. but it's not raining. No. Arr. But you never know which way the wind will blow, whether it'll rain or whether it'll snow. Oh, oh you made a rain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, Rosetti, uh -huh. why are you wearing boots? Oh, these? Mm. I'm wearing these because... <laughs> I'm going puddle jumping. Wow. Oh, can, can we come? come? Oh, well, you need your wellies. Oh, oh dear. Oh. That's why I bought two spare pairs in my pocket. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Jelly wellies. <laughs> and Jackson wellies. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Rosetti. Yeah. Now for a little more magic. <laughs> 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 Are you ready to jump? Oh, yes, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. And jump in the puddle. Splish. Uh, uh, get in the muddle. <laughs> That's good, Jackson. Splish, splish. Jump in the puddle. Splash in the water. Splash, splash, splash. Jump splash, in and out. out. In and out. And splash, splash, and splash, 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 splash. All splash, out. Splash, splash, splash. Oh, Rosetti, Rosetti, yes. shall we put a welly in the story machine? Oh, yes, that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, then. <laughs> Give us your welly then, Jackson. <laughs> this is where we need your help. We need lots of imagination to get the story machine going. Are you ready? Imagine. 
Imagine, imagine a story. and it's called My Dad's Job. I wonder if there's a welly in it. <laughs> Amy's dad has a very important job. Can you guess what job it is? He has to wear a special uniform. Rubber boots, blue trousers and jacket, and a bright yellow helmet. Can you guess? He has to drive a special vehicle. It's got flashing blue lights, there's a long ladder on the top, and it's bright red. That's right, Amy's dad is a firefighter. When they're called out to a fire, the firefighters have to slide down a big pole. Then they line up for roll call. <laughs> Firefighter Smith. Firefighter Pew. Firefighter McGrew. Oh yes, and Firefighter Amy. For your duties, Fall out. Today, Amy has come to help give the fire engine a good wash. Lots of bubbles. Pause it down. Scrub the wheels. Make it clean all over. There, all done. Oh, and just in time. The firefighters have to go and put out a fire. The printer sends a message telling them where to go. Amy's dad really does have a very special job. Bubbles like these. Oh, Ooh. yes. Whoa. Bless them all. Hmm. Try Ooh. bursting them with your hands. <laughs> <laughs> now with your feet. <laughs> <laughs> I can burst them with my nose. Oh, but that's difficult. Oh. No, it isn't. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. Rosetti, that's <laughs> cheating. That's <laughs> not your nose. Mm. I like to be prepared. Mm. Oh, Rosetti, can we make a story with it? What, with oh, my yes. nose? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> mm. All right, then. Ooh. I knew this would come in useful. <laughs> I knows it would, too. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <That's> an... <sighs> Now we need to use our imaginations. Yeah, concentrate really hard. Yes. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Come on, story machine. <laughs> I can never wait. <laughs> oh, it's a sniff and rag story. Oh, look what it's called. The Scarecrow's Nose. Sniff and Wow, our friends. When the day ends and the sky grows dark, they sneak into the park through a hole in the fence. One night, the two dogs decide to visit the vegetable patch. And who should be there? But Nat the Bat. <coughs> Sniff, wag, I'm all of a flap. You see, there's a most peculiar chap standing in the corn, looking all forlorn. Come and see. Sure enough, 
There in the corn, as real as can be, stands a stranger with straw hair, hands and feet. Oh, it's a scarecrow, barks Wang, but it looks very sad. Oh. <clears throat> What's the matter, dear fellow? Oh, I'm a lady scarecrow, I'll have you know, and I've lost my carrot nose. It was gobbled by a crow, and now I can't sneeze or sniff or blow. That's very sad, says Wag. But perhaps we can help you find another nose. As long as it isn't a carrot, I don't want that nasty crow coming back. So off the three friends go. The bat searching high. And the dogs searching low. What have they found? Let's see. Sniff has found a shiny stone. A gnat helps the scarecrow try it on, but it feels a bit rough and the scarecrow doesn't think it's pretty enough. Ugh, it's not me, you see. And the others <laughs> agree. Wag has found a pine cone. Ugh, oh, no, it's too spiky and long. It'll make me a chew, it simply won't do. What about this conker? says Nat. Oh, it's too spiky. That's that, she whines. But how about this? growls Sniff, holding a daisy between his teeth. Well, said the Scarecrow, let me try it on and see. Oh, it's very comfy, and it's ever so small and dainty. Yes, it makes the perfect nose. <laughs> but I don't think it'll scare many crows, whispers Wag. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, you've been so sweet. If you look under my hat, Nat, you'll find something tasty. <gasps> Yippee! It's a whortleberry pie. With bulging bellies full of pie, the two little dogs say goodbye to Nat and the Scarecrow. Bye! See you soon. Good night. Sleep tight, my little friends. Tomorrow we will play again. So, Rosetti, mm? uh, if you didn't have a nose like the scarecrow didn't... Yes? Would you still be able to smell? Oh, that's a very good question, Jelly. Mm. What do you think? Um, I think you wouldn't. <laughs> 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 oh, something's tickling Jackson. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's tickling you, Jackson? Pardon? Who's tickling you? You're laughing. It's this funny book. Look. <laughs> <laughs> you, you said book. Look, that rhymes. Oh, uh, yes. Mm. Look, you, you can change different parts of the people. Look, so they're wearing different clothes. Look. Hockey players don't wear flippers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, people swimming in the sea wear flippers, mm. yeah. Look, clowns don't fly aeroplanes. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, Jackson, look, the sailor's hat. Yeah. Sailors don't fly planes either. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, let's put it in the story machine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> In it goes. <laughs> now we need to think really hard. Yeah, about a funny story. <laughs> Imagine. 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 A story. Hmm. What's it going to be? I don't know. It's funny. Come on. Oh, it's a blue cow story. Oh, and it's called Blue Cow, the fashion model. <laughs> In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was munching grass when an advert showing beautiful and colourful clothes blew into the field. I wonder what it would be like to wear clothes like that. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a return ticket to a fashion show, please. 
There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a very fashionable place. And then they arrived. When Blue Cow got off the bus, she could hardly believe her eyes. She saw rows and rows of beautiful clothes and hats and shoes and coats and gloves. And all around her, people were trying on the clothes. Suddenly, Blue Cow heard a cry. Mamma mia, it's a disaster. What's wrong? said Blue Cow. I'm Giorgio Ciocci, the designer. The famous catwalk model Meow Me Candle cannot come today. I need another model. Oh, can I help? said Blue Cow. Giorgio Ciocci looked at Blue Cow carefully and then smiled and said, You are perfect and you are blue. Wonderful. Blue is the only colour we do not have. Seconds later, Blue Cow's nails were painted. Her face was made up and her horns were polished. Then Blue Cow was dressed in red socks, an orange scarf, yellow feathers, green gloves, a purple skirt and an amazing hat. Georgia looked at Blue Cow and said, Oh, oh, Blue Cow, you are now every colour of the rainbow. Blue Cow looked at herself in the mirror. Is that really me? she said. She hardly recognised herself. Georgia said, Blue Cow, go out onto the catwalk just a cow, but come back a star. Blue Cow stepped onto the catwalk. The people cheered and clapped. Photographers snapped lots of pictures. This way, Blue Cow. Smile for the camera. Lovely. Blue Cow was very, very happy. After the show, the clothes were put back on the rails and the makeup was taken off. Oh, oh, thank you, Blue Cow. Come back whenever you want to be a model again, said Georgia. Oh, thank you, said Blue Cow. Maybe I will. Bye. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I went to a fashion show and I was a model on the catwalk. Everyone knows cows can't go on catwalks. But we know they can, don't we? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> yeah, Blue Cow had lots of different clothes. <laughs> oh, look. The sun is unsleeping its beams. Mm -hmm. Quick, 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 all story makers must be hidden away before it wakes. Yes, the children will be here soon. Mm. Mm. We better take our dressing up clothes off. Mm. Mm. Yes, my sweets, dawn is upon us, the morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you... Goodbye! Bye-bye. <laughs> story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, Come story back soon. makers, Thanks for helping. Bye. Come and make some more stories soon.